about two years ago the state came to us and said that they were going to have to replace these two culverts under the highway down by our calving shed because they were failing so I started working with them to help with the design and tell them about water flows and then once the contractors started I asked them if I could have these culverts and they wondered why I wanted them. I told them I was going to make calving sheds out of it and they kind of thought I was crazy along with a lot of other people. Didn't quite see how I was going to do it. So this is a short video on the process of getting these culverts and turning them into a calving shed. Once they got the culverts dug out, they used a crane to set them on the flatbed trailer. And then we didn't have a very good plan to get them off, so we improvised and just had to shove them off with the tractor. It got a little bit western. Working on our culvert calving sheds. We unbolted a bunch of it, but the bolts couldn't get to the bottom bolt, so we cut a bunch, and then we got tired of doing that. So we just took the plasma and started cutting the belly out of it. We have 18 inches left to go. Might get interesting here. It wants to flex a bunch. on the ground now. It's about on the ground now. We're starting to build the skids and framework for these culvert sheds. So I've got my cross members and uprights cut and then these long chunks are going to be my skids. So I'll weld two of them side by side to give it more surface area then weld from there. Got the frame for this first shed all built. Uh, used two pipes together to give it a little bit more flotation because I didn't have any bigger six inch and it was expensive so I had this two and seven eighths so I doubled it up, welded it in the center then put some plates on it. 
and then we had to modify our original plan. We were gonna have two tall pipes on each side, but as you can see on that culvert, it one side buckled, so we have to have a short side. So the little stub pipes are just there to connect the cross members over to this other upright pipe. Should work pretty good. Got it all welded up. Put a couple corner gussets in it some angled ends, so it'll hopefully float over the dirt and ground a little bit better. But here in the next day or two, we'll get this stuffed inside the big culvert and welded down and then put some gates and a head catch in it and it'll be ready to go. We thought it'd be kind of a pain to have to load this frame for the shed, so we're just gonna drag it the couple hundred yards down the highway out to the field and put it in the culvert. Flashing for Cooper. I just don't want anyone to come up behind us and hit the dang thing. It's going to be a little tight through this cattle guard, but let's see how it goes. fitting in there quite the way we'd like. The building seemed to have narrowed up a bit, so I picked that side up with the skid steer. Now we're gonna shove it in with the tractor. Ended up blocking this side up on two little blocks. Then we can still move the runners around. And we're gonna pick this side up and set it on the runners and come around and pick this end up. Is our plan now. Kind of a snowy miserable day so put the culvert sheds on hold. I'm getting back to building this fuel tank for my orange truck. Uh, got a baffle put in there to keep the fuel from sloshing around. And then here's the top of the tank. I got my holes for my pump, my fill cut in there. And now I'm just gonna weld it all up. Turn out pretty good. It's gonna fit right in between the two toolboxes there that I repainted. And then I, those are my side rails that I haven't got on yet, but they'll slip right between the boxes. And then this little groove here will slide under the channel on the headache rack. So it'll fit nice and tight, be in there clean. Got some welding projects done in the shop today. The fuel tank is all welded up. I'm just waiting on some two inch threaded ports for my pump and fuel fill. And then I'll be able to pressure test it, make sure it's good to go. And built this split gate for the maternity pen that's gonna go in the culvert shed so built this little latch so then once that's up then the bottom can swing away to suckle a calf and then you just slip that back down in there and it's secure and then just put a piston latch on it nothing too fancy just a bunch of short continuous fence a little bit of square tubing and but it's gonna work for what we need it to and then once this weather clears up a little bit we'll get it welded into that shed and be ready for calving about a week and a half to two weeks away so we're getting close it's been kind of a long project just working on it when we had time but it's done and we're gonna move it out to where we're calving cows and put it to work so had this old head catch 
that I got that we used. And then these two pipes on the end are going to be where we can hook panels to it to wing the cows in. And then built this maternity gate. So it'll push over and crowd your cow in. And if you have to suckle a calf, just have this bolt that comes up. And then your maternity or your suckling gate can swing away. Drops in there. And then in the back, just have two pens. These gates head around. I built these spring loaded piston latches for these HW gates quite a while ago. They're not the fanciest, but they work. So then we got two pens in here, and then on the back, if we got a pair in the back or something we want out, we have a gate on the back side that swings open. You can let stuff in or out that way also. Should work pretty good. <laughs> it's kind of crude, but I don't know. Since I had most of this stuff around, I don't think I have a thousand dollars into this. If you had to buy the head catch and the gates, I might have 2,500, so pretty reasonable considering I got the <clears throat> big culvert for free. And we still have this one here that I'm going to cut in half and just make two sheds that you could put a pair in or calves can go in it to get out of the weather. Should be pretty nice. We'll see how it moves now. We haven't drug it anywhere, so this will be the test. See how it drags. It's about half a mile out to where we want to put it. It's moving. It took a while to break it free and get it there, but it's on its way. Culvert's all set in place, ready to be used if we need it. Uh, got it set so we can bring cows into this pen and then run them right up kind of this alleyway between the fence and the shed and then right into there. Or they can go into this bigger barn if we just want them in there to calve and then if we have any trouble then they can come out into this culvert with a couple pens and head catch in case we got to pull something. Nice to have options. One of those things you hope you don't need very much, but if you don't have it and need it, it can be a costly mistake. Set up and ready to go. Getting a little bit of colder weather after that 40 degree days, so it'll set this mud up. And then it's supposed to get a little warm again, so that's not too bad for Kevin. Hopefully this mud leaves though, I hate mud. So thanks for watching and tune in for our next video. More Cavan.